Hello and welcome to the latest edition of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host. As a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYC does not recommend investments or investment strategies. Now, today I'm joined by my close personal friend, Christian Magoon. He is the CEO of Amplify ETFs. Christian, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate being on. So now inflation, it seems like it's every other headline right now. Uh, clearly, you and your team are looking at this. How should investors be thinking about positioning their portfolio for an inflationary environment? Yeah, no kidding. We've seen headlines where we're seeing inflation at 40-year highs. And this is a risk to investors' portfolios, no question about it. A risk that most investors haven't had to guard against for many years. So we think many investors need to consider some type of allocation to inflation beneficiaries. And that simply means stocks or commodities that benefit from rising prices, um, aka inflation. Uh, so we recently launched an NYSE listed ETF, the Amplify Inflation Fighter ETF, ticker IWIN, that seeks to do this conveniently. Um, you know, investors, we think, need to either take a position to hedge against inflation because they may have some investments that are negatively impacted by rising inflation, or conversely, they may want to surf the inflation wave and add some alpha to their portfolio by owning inflation beneficiaries. So you've got this inflation fighter ETF, ticker symbol IWIN, hence IWIN. Tell us a little bit more about this ETF. Yeah, so this is an actively managed ETF that's multi-asset, meaning that it can own stocks, it can own commodities, even own some Bitcoin. Uh, these are all inflation beneficiary plays. So many investors may want to own uh, com companies or commodities that benefit from inflation, but they don't know where to start. Uh, this is a way that in one stop, you can have a portfolio manager select and rotate between inflation beneficiary stocks, whether that's asset miners, commodity REITs, land development companies, or actually own commodities as well. So that could be energy, precious metals, industrial metals, even some Bitcoin. Uh, this is a very convenient way to own one-stop exposure to what we believe are stocks and commodities that will benefit from inflation over time. Christian, what is it you believe is different about iWin? Yeah, so many inflation ETFs either focus on stocks, maybe bonds or commodities. Uh, iWin allows you to have a multi-asset approach in one investment. In addition, it's actively managed. So managers can dynamically move between stocks, commodities, and individual weightings. Finally, uh, I think we're the only inflation ETF that has the ability to own Bitcoin indirectly. Uh, so that digital asset, we think, because of its scarcity, also has some merit as an inflation beneficiary over time. For investors, advisors, they want to learn more about Amplify, about your ETFs, where should they go? Yeah, visit us at AmplifyETFs.com. A lot of great research, white papers, and videos. We'd love for you to take a look at our new website at AmplifyETFs.com. Now, as a reminder, if you caught this episode live and you're looking for additional ETF thought leadership, you can find it all on the New York Stock Exchange's website, homeofetfs.com. That's homeofetfs.com, all brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.